Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we are talking about Alabama running back Josh Jacobs in terms of his production data. Uh, Josh Jacobs is probably one of the more hyped, talked about running backs uh, so far uh, you know, due to his playoff performances. But what does his data actually say about him uh, in terms of his NFL projection? That's what we're going to find out today. So if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. And with all that stuff out of the way, let's get to his production data. So first off, uh, Josh Jacobs had a 11.07 market share production score. Uh, based on all of my data since the 1969 NFL draft class, uh, he doesn't hit the all-pro threshold of 89, the five-time Pro Bowl threshold of 69, or the three-time Pro Bowl threshold of 52. And on top of that, when you look at the averages of the position, he does not hit anywhere near the average All-Pro score, the average Pro Bowl score, or the average starter score uh, based on his overall uh, production data. Uh, ultimately, and I know people are going to say this again, Alvin Kamar, Alvin Kamar, and a lot of the running back videos I'm going to be doing are going to be bringing up that argument. Well, Alvin Kamar wasn't productive, but again, the vast majority of NFL running backs right now, if you look at, at say, all the top rushers this year, all of those guys, except for Alvin Kamara, uh, were very productive at the college level, uh, were at least above average productive at the college level. So I do understand the argument that, well, he could be an outlier, but how many outliers are you actually going to see in terms of generations? Like this is, this is the type of running back where one out of, I mean, maybe there's like one or two every 10 years they go on to become a long-term starter most of them don't become all pro players most of them don't even become pro bowl players uh most of them just become starters for a bit and then they kind of fizzle out so as much as people are really excited about josh jacobs and this is the thing josh jacobs is less productive than alvin kamar he's even less productive than alvin kamar so i do understand the sort of excitement with a guy like this he did have an interesting playoff uh bo scarborough had a great playoff too and what's he doing in the NFL this year again you, you can't just get sucked into like oh he's playing at Alabama you have to look at what the production data says about him a guy like Derrick Henry was extremely productive at Alabama uh, like I don't want to go through all the Alabama running backs but I'm just saying like you have to look at the big picture here and the big picture with Josh Jacobs is that he might disappoint if he's the top running back selected and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn at wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jim Metrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.